Okay. This one is for user Vanilli Millie one minute ago. I have a hopeless crush and I want to know how to move on. I, 22 female, like this guy at uni for a while and I wish all my heart that he'd reach out to me, but that's not a day I should be holding my breath for. How do you get over someone that was never yours? It's a good question. Um, I find that a lot of young men have this as well <laughs> for young women. Um, teenagers get this a lot because they don't have the context yet. And so I, I know what it's like. Um, <clears throat> look, Vanilli Millie, um, I would, the simple answer is to focus on you. Okay. You have to remember that first of all, you're 22, which means that you haven't really started, like you've been in university, I assume for probably four or three years, um, and you like someone, <coughs> that's fine. But you and I both know that a relationship is made up of two people. Okay. So if I was in your position, I would focus my eyes on something else. What I've learned is that people usually get to where they're going. Okay. So if you're riding a bicycle and you're looking in front of you, you're going to get in front of you. But if you're riding a bicycle and you look over there, um, you're either going to go there or you're going to crash. Okay. So you're going along this way and you're looking that way, which means you're going to crash emotionally. It will happen. <clears throat> and so, and the reason is because you are putting energy into something that you can't have and that you won't have, right? So if I was in your position, I would focus on you, okay? But there's a reason why. A lot of people tell you to build you and focus on you. And just do you, girl. Just do you and see what happens, yeah? <laughs> but I'm going to tell you why you need to do that. Okay, at some point in your life, you will meet a man that you cannot walk away from, okay? Now, it could be this guy, but it's not right now. And I know it's not right now because you are pining for something that you can't have. And that, in in context, that behavior doesn't get you anywhere, which means that you're sowing seeds on fallow ground, right? Essentially, you're putting seeds on cement. It, nothing is going to grow, even though you're sowing, right? So... <clears throat> The reason you need to focus on yourself is because when you meet that man that you can't walk away from, you need to be the woman that he can't walk away from. You need to be as smart as you can be, as hot as you can be, as funny as you can be, as intelligent as you can be, as educated as you can be, as learned as you can be. As You, you need to have the good habits in your life so that when you meet someone they will see that they have to earn you, okay? Because here's what's going to happen: <clears throat> if you turn, if this guy turns around and says, "Hey, let's let's get together," you're going to go, "Fuck yeah, baby, let's do it!" Right? But the problem is, you've there's no caveats, there's no there's no deal there. There's just a yes. Sign me up on the dotted line on a blank check, right? That's essentially what you are saying. That he will give a, he he will put a blank check in front of you. You will sign the name. And then he will just write whatever amount he wants. That's what I'm reading right now because you like him, like him, like him, but you don't know him, know him, know him. And he hasn't promised to give you anything. I don't know if he's a good man. I don't know if he's abusive. I don't know if he's um, has, has good character. Whether he's sexy or funny or smart or charming is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. What matters is that <clears throat> relationships turn into legal contracts at some point and you you have to do the mundane monotony of life with with a man right so you need that man to be of good character of good humor um you need him to have his shit sorted out financially and emotionally you don't want a guy that um is really sweet and gentle on the outside but when you get home with him he just fucking blows up and starts hitting you okay now i'm not saying this guy has all these bad qualities but the problem is i don't know and you may have more context than me, and you may know him a lot better than that. But at the same time, with all my heart, he'd reach out to me. But that's not a day I should be holding my breath for. If he hasn't reached out to you, like he might know you in an ancillary way. But you need to build you. 
you need to focus on the woman in the mirror, right? Because when you do, you will feel not just like the self-esteem movement. You're 22, so you've probably like, I'm 32. I grew up in this whole, uh, I was in probably lower high school when the whole self-esteem movement came to pass and everyone's like, feel good about yourself. When the truth is, you shouldn't feel good about yourself. You should feel good about what you're doing to better yourself, okay? I don't feel good about me. I feel good about the good things I do to better me, okay? And because, like, everyone thinks they are the best that they can be, and they're just not, me included, right? So what I decided before I got into the relationship I am in now um, with 28 Female um, I decided that I was going to build me. I was going to be the man I needed to be to get the woman that I wanted to have. Um, and from all I can tell, my girl's got the man she wants and I've got the the, the woman I want as well. Um, I hope this helps a little bit. I know that's not the answer you wanted to hear and I really do know that. But the truth is, if you start building you and focusing on your friends, your family, your character, education, knowledge really getting to understand yourself and why you do what you do, um, observing yourself for a week and the the pattern of behavior that you have for a week. And why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, that's interesting. X, Y, Z, right? And then do that over a month and then do that over a year if it takes that long to get the man that you want. Um, focus on you, right? Don't focus on him. Um, because even if he does turn around and reach out to you, um, I have the feeling that you're going to give him what he wants for nothing in return. And that is not a relationship. That is massively unbalanced, right? He gets what he wants and you just get him. And then you get him whichever way he deigns to give you him. You know, so I hope that helps. um, And I wish you all the best. Good luck.